Intel QuickSync Video is Intel's brand for its dedicated video encoding and decoding hardware core. QuickSync was introduced with the Sandy Bridge CPU microarchitecture on 9 January 2011, and has been found on the die of Intel products ever since. The name, QuickSync, refers to the use case of quickly transcoding, converting, a video from, for example, a DVD or Blu-ray disc to a format appropriate to, for example, a smartphone. Unlike video encoding on a CPU or a general-purpose GPU, Quick Sync is a dedicated hardware core on the processor die. This allows for a much more power-efficient video processing. Topic: <laughs> Performance. Quick Sync has been praised for its speed. The 8th annual MPEG-4 AVC H.264 video codex comparison showed that QuickSync is comparable to X264 Superfast preset in terms of speed, compression ratio and quality SSIM. Tests were performed on an Intel Core i7-3770 Ivy Bridge processor. A benchmark from Tom's Hardware showed in 2011 that QuickSync could convert a 449 MB, 4 minute 1080p file to 1024 768 in 22 seconds. The same encoding using only software took 172 seconds but it is not clear what software encoder was used and how it was configured. The same encoding took 83 or 86 seconds GPU assisted, using an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570 and an AMD Radeon HD 6870, respectively, both of which were at that time contemporary high-end GPUs. Quick sync encoding can produce image quality which varies based on how well the software is written. Topic Quick Sync Development Quick Sync was first unveiled at Intel Developer Forum 2010, the 13th of September, but according to Tom's hardware, Quick Sync had been conceptualized 5 years before that. The older Clarkdale microarchitecture had hardware video decoding support, but no hardware encoding support. It was known as Intel Clear Video. Version 1 Sandy Bridge Quick Sync was initially built into some Sandy Bridge CPUs, but not into Sandy Bridge Pentiums or Celerons. Version 2 Ivy Bridge The Ivy Bridge microarchitecture included a next generation implementation of Quick Sync. Version 3 Haswell The Haswell microarchitecture implementation is focused on quality, with speed about the same as before for any given clip length versus encoding length. It has seven hard-coded quality, performance levels called target usages, compared to the three in previous generations. The highest quality TU1 setting is intended to be higher quality than Ivy Bridge's version, and the highest speed TU7 setting should be faster, higher quality, and more battery-friendly for mobile devices. This generation of QuickSync supports the H.264, MPEG-4 AVC, VC1 and H.262, MPEG-2 Part 2 video standards, version 4 Broadwell The Broadwell microarchitecture adds VP8 hardware decoding support. Also, it has two independent bitstream decoder BSD rings to process video commands on GT3 GPUs. This allows one BSD ring to process decoding and the other BSD ring to process encoding at the same time. Version 5 Skylake. The Skylake microarchitecture adds a full fixed function H.265 HEVC main 8-bit encoding and decoding acceleration, hybrid and partial HEVC main 10 out of 10-bit decoding acceleration, JPEG encoding acceleration for resolutions up to 16,000 times 16,000 pixels, and partial VP9 encoding and decoding acceleration. Version 6 Kaby Lake, Coffee Lake, Whiskey Lake The Kaby Lake and Coffee Lake microarchitecture adds full fixed function H.265, HEVC main 10 out of 10-bit encoding and decoding acceleration and full fixed function VP9 8-bit and 10-bit decoding acceleration and 8-bit encoding acceleration. Topic. Operating system support The Quick Sync Video SIP core needs to be supported by the device driver. The device driver provides one or more interfaces, for example VDPAU, Video Acceleration API VAAPI, or DXVA for video decoding, and OpenMax-IL or VAAPI for video encoding. 
One of these interfaces is then used by end-user software, for example VLC Media Player or GStreamer, to access the QuickSync video hardware and make use of it. <laughs> Linux QuickSync support by Intel Media SDK on Linux is available, and as of November 2013 it is supported by Wowza Streaming Engine formerly known as Wowza Media Server for transcoding of media streams using their transcoder add-on. QuickSync is also supported by the VA API, for both encoding and decoding with FFmpeg as example. Microsoft Windows. Microsoft offers support for Quick Sync in Windows in Windows Vista and later, based on supporting driver software from Intel and support through both Direct Show Direct X as well as WMF Windows Media Foundation. A wide range of applications are based upon this base support for the technology in Windows. Topic: <laughs> Mac OS Apple added Quick Sync support in OS X Mountain Lion for AirPlay, FaceTime, iTunes, Safari, QuickTime X, iMovie, Final Cut Pro X, Motion and Compressor. Third-party software includes Mac X Video Converter Pro, DaVinci Resolve, IINA, VLC and others. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hardware decoding and encoding. Support for QuickSync hardware accelerated decoding of H.264, MPEG-2, and VC1 video is widely available. One common way to gain access to the technology on Microsoft Windows is by use of the free FFD show filter. Some other free software like VLC Media Player since version 2.1.0, Rinsewind, support QuickSync as well. Many commercial applications also benefit from the technology today, including Cyberlink Power DVD, Cyberlink Power Director, and Macromotion Bogart Gold Edition. It has been claimed that in testing it keeps the CPU at its lowest possible frequency to reduce power consumption in order to maximize battery life for mobile devices while being about twice as fast as Libavcodec. Support for hardware assisted media encoding tailored for quick sync is widely available. Examples of such software with quick sync support during encoding processes are Plex Media Server, Bodaboom Media Converter, Cyberlink Media Show, Cyberlink Media Espresso, ArcSoft Media Converter, Magix Video Pro X, Pinnacle Studio since version 18, Roxio Toast, Roxio Creator, XSPLIT Broadcaster, XSPLIT Gamecaster, all commercial and projects like Handbrake, Windows Build Only, Open Broadcaster Software or applications for operating operation with a video content entering in Adobe CC 2018. The following table shows fixed function encode decode support for various Intel platforms. Certain low-end and high-end parts including multi-socket Xeons and some extreme edition CPUs expected to be used with a dedicated GPU do not contain the hardware core to support quick sync. Topic See also Intel Clear Video – Video decoding using a general-purpose Intel GPU Video Coding Engine – AMD's equivalent SIP core NVIDIA NVENC – NVIDIA's equivalent SIP core Amalogic Video Engine Broadcom Crystal HD 